folks, welcome back to another unboxing with yours truly, Sam Healy and... JT. Yeah. yeah. This guy. So, this guy backs a lot of games on Kickstarter. Christmas today. Oh, Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> Christmas in June. Christmas in June. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So, he is a backer of Too Many Bones. Indeed. Unbreakable. The entire thing. Like, yeah. you did. You went all in the first time around, and then you went all in... Uh, I've, I've bought it through the years. Through, all through so, the years. Okay, yeah. through the years. But you went... This is the end. This is everything. This, <laughs> is, the, this is the last Kickstarter, Unbreakable. Okay. And all the remaining goodies. All the remaining... So you're not going to back anything else from anybody else for the rest of time. You said this is no, the last one. No, for too many bonds. Oh, okay. Too many bonds right, is now right. complete. All right, so... We are opening up. Well, you do it, man. There you this go. is your game. No, no. You do it. I don't think this big box is going to last on the table, but it won't. We'll we'll pull stuff out. What do we start out with? There's Mr. Right. Static, one of the characters. Mr. Static, the brawler. Uh, crossover pack. I don't know what a crossover pack New is. New cool. beautiful adventure map. Ew. The Oban Dark Carcass, the Hunter. I don't know if his name is the hunter. Carcass is a the survivalist. The survivalist. Carcass the survivalist. Carcass all right. Awesome. We are going to be putting eventually all of this so you can see it, but yeah. we are pulling Temple. it out. Polaris, Polaris. The geologist. Yep. Then we have this is unbreakable. This is the expansion. The so actual, actual expansion. The actual expansion. Oh. We have the main core box. Holy then there's cow, under so it's all poker chips. I know. <laughs> Chip games, man. 40 Waves in Daylor, which is the expansion to Undertow. 40 Caves in Daylor, which is the expansion to Unbreakable. Wait a minute. 40 Waves and 40 Caves? Yep, and 40 Days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Vader okay. Tyranny, which is more um, big baddies for you to fight. And this more dude tyrant. is super bad. Yeah, the, super the tyrants bad. are amazing. Oh my goodness. And then we have the mats. All right, so that's actually the end of the box. It's the end of the big box. All right. Sorry if I stuck that in front of the camera. No, 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 no. That was my. That was my. Gosh, this thing. I'm almost afraid to put it on top of any of the other boxes. Let's it's do. All going in the trope chest eventually. No, did you bring the trope chest over? <laughs> no. Man, what kind of crap is that? I think all right. Let's do that one first. Fifty pounds. <laughs> what is this? That's oh, a, this is your. That's the patented. Well, it's not patented. No, it's not patented. But it is mean? a grapefruit knife, yes. Grapefruit knife. Right on. So they had two ways to do this. You could either do one solid mat, put everything on it in kind of stationary positions, or you could do multiple mats. Whoa. This is the main game mat. Yeah. With your body stacks, your like adventure it. map, your... Um, uh, your fighting map can't yeah. think of the name of it right now and then these are your character Combat map yeah this is a, this is where you set up your gear lock um i only got two of these uh, because if you're going to play with four players having four of those on the table is probably too much anyway. it's too much so, um, so, so anyway so those are the mats or you can buy it all in one big chunk with you know all of these stationary set but then you have to sit in specific spots wow so. oh, okay so you went for the modular i went for the modular of, okay that's cool these so, are nice mats. They're beautiful. Nice stitching on the outside. Yeah, chip 30. Really nice. All of the mats. Are All good. right. Cool. So that's the mats. So uh, let's put those over there, I guess. And um, now let's uh, do, well, since we're doing mats. Since we're doing mats. We'll do Adventure that. Mat. We'll pull it right out of there. We don't need this. Oh. Um, yep. Southern Day Lore. Single tyrant. I don't know what that means exactly. Except we've got northern. So we've Day got Lord. yep. We've got two different sections, and basically, um, for those of you that play too many bones, you understand the map. For those of you that don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, He's talking to me, folks. All right, let's go with separate. this guy first. Oh, yeah. Big one first. I cannot. I cannot tell you. This is probably five pounds. Oh yeah, by itself. Ten. By itself. So, yeah. See how easy Probably that so. is. Grapefruit knives Grapefruit for the win. Knives for the win. All right, there you go. You don't want an old rusty knife it. on there. No. See the art is so gorgeous. Look at that. They do the art on the inside. That is pretty cool. 
Oh, the ups. For the Let's record, see, all that? of the gear lock boxes, yeah. yeah, all the gear lock face boxes, um, my son has for a collage on his wall. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. So, typical rule book. Uh -huh. Who needs rules? Uh, uh, me. I usually go through it and just you know flip through a little bit. Look yep. at all this yep, good. stuff. Look at all the stuff. All this. I got all the poker chips, all the dice. Man, it's huge. So usually there's a lot more pictures though. So I'm just gonna flip through some yeah. of this. It's Gail. That's the new battle mat. We'll show it in a minute. Cool. All right. Sweet. What's next? Not dice. Now the dice are cool. <laughs> I am actually gonna probably scoot in on this a little bit. Let me go ahead and trim in a little bit so that I have a better view of the dice. Nice. All yep. this beautiful that's defense. Good. That's good, that's good. You never have enough dice, that's what I say. Of course not. Dice hate me though. Dice. I was doing an unboxing wow. earlier today and I rolled the die. The die literally has, it's a six sided die. It literally has something something printed on all but one of the sides of the dice. And which one did I roll? Every time? Like, did you roll multiple times? No, I just rolled just it once. once. Just rolled it once yeah. and it got the blank one. Nice. Well, your standard attack and defense dice. Yep. Um, hit those on each of them. And then these are all the skill dice for the different characters. Um, you can see there's two different sets. Those are so pretty. So every gear lock has a different colored dice. So like this will be for one of these two, I don't know, either Gale or Figment. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll each have 16 dice. No, presumably have 16 dice for their skills. So Normally. You normally. don't know if there's any changes in this one. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I obviously back them and everything else, but I don't really. And these trays are super cool. They're they fit awesome. Right in, they fit right in. So it's like it holds the dice. Really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have. I'm, I'm. I'm not a stranger to chip no, theory no. games, but yeah, this is the cool stuff. So these are just health point or health chips. Yep. And they're like a lighter weight. Um, there's also a premium premium chip you can have, and these are. Batty chips, um, basically denoting their position on the board. Each mm -hmm. batty is going to have a different color, so you can keep up track of them. That's cool. But and these are the bad guys. Man. So and these should we do it? Go, do it. We don't need health chips. They all look the same. Yep, they do. All right. I did it! Can you hear that sound? Yeah, yep. the sound is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Does it matter if we show them? Nope, doesn't matter. There's not whatsoever. like a legacy there's, aspect. There is not, not to this one. These are super nice. Wow. Look at that beautiful borders. Yep. These are super nice. They really leaned into this whole poker chip thing. I remember. We had a, at, with the Dice Star, we had a booth right next to them when they came out with Hoplomachus mm -hmm. way back when. And uh, I, I was I was like, poker chips? Why would you play a whole game with poker chips? But man, they leaned into it and it hit. Of course, yeah. I just don't know what I'm talking about usually. That's that's probably it, what you did hit to it. Yeah. Well, what are those? These are the lava chips. So the new battle mat, the old battle mats. Oh, look at that. So your counter. On the old battle mats, not that you care probably. No, you no, probably do. do. Um, your counter on the old battle mats used to be a normal chip size, right? So this would sit inside here and you would turn it. Uh huh. So now they made this big, beautiful so it just, counter. So it sits up. It actually counts your days. Ticks better. Ticks better. Yeah. Looks fantastic. Big old thick chip. That's cool. But these, we need a battle mat. We'll, we'll skip to the bottom here for a second. The new battle map. I was actually going to bring the other battle maps just so we could compare, but... You didn't do it. I didn't do it. What a loser. New battle map. Whoa. 
is a six by or is a four by four grid. They're all four by four grid. Undertow has some other differences, but there are modifiers and scenarios in this where these will be turned over. You know, to where you can take damage. Like this is the hardened lava. You know, oh. where those would be. Okay, so like this will does it do like splash damage or if you move through? No, there, it, it would be damage. it would do damage to you for being there, moving through that. Gotcha. Um, as far as I know, but molten bath flame soak. That just sounds <laughs> the graft beast. Right? I'm so you guarantee that the molten bath guy eruption. You know, all of these new skills have to do with this battle mat. Yep. What's this guy's name? Roll, roll. <laughs> he he doesn't look like the brightest tool in the shed. No. But um, we're not here to have a pleasant conversation with mm, him either. No. Grab and cog. I don't know what that is because he has a... Well, it looks like he has two sides. So he must have different abilities based on the side. And then we have Cinder. He's pretty cool looking. Yeah, he is. Cool beans. All right, what's next? Characters. New characters. Figment. Figment is... He's range. What is his? Uh, what's his? Time skipper, staff wielder. He has to have a theor cool. theoretician. 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 And yeah, a, a phantom. phantom. He must be our. He's our scientist. So you got scientists in this game? Oh yeah. That's uh, boring. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Figment and all of his stuff. His backup plan tells you what all of his dice do. Wait, this is uh, his player aid? That's his player card. What? Each of your characters is just like you. Just think of it well, as I a like RPG. Cards, I know. Every these single cool. one of them. So, there's also one for Gale. That is pretty cool. I've only played this game once, and it was years and years ago. I played this game between 40 and 50 times. 40 and 50 times. And it'll be more than that. And there's Gale. Uh, what I do know is Gale was some kind of experiment gone wrong. No, somebody was experimenting on her. You can see she's got metal legs, stuff like that. But she now has the ability to use to air powers. Back. Yep. She has some scars. These actually start out blocked, and you have to unlock them. Movement protocol, defense protocol. It's like she's a robot. Yep, attack protocol and medical protocol. That's cool. Pretty uh, wide range there. Yeah. So, and this is their new all-in player aids for all of the... Now this is why people... Don't, I don't want to say get upset about too many bones, but there's a lot of keywords. <laughs> there is, yes. Well, here's you the thing. You have to play it with somebody that knows it. So that yes, you, and that's the only experience that I've had with the game. you got to keep it compartmentalized yeah. to just the guys on the board, mm. and it's not it's not, not as that bad. difficult as you seem. But, not that bad. But this one has everyone from all of the... I mean, this is the this is the end all right here. So, wow. honestly, I'm going to try to buy like two or three more of those. That's Just so cool. I can get rid of all the rest of them. But other thing we have in here, a couple of cool items. I know I'm making a mess. No, I'm I'm just trying to because yep. I know we've got more to go through. So yeah, we'll get rid I'm of trying the main to... board here in a second. But. Yeah. So for Gail, I do know that she starts out with these three cool star tokens that you have to unlock, which is you know every gear lock plays so differently. These these scars come in here, and it's something you have to unlock um, so that you can get you know very powerful abilities later. So that's that's, that's cool actually thing. really neat. Those are cool markers. They're very cool markers. Is she the only one that has those? Yep. Or do other characters? No, have? they all have different things. Got it. Like Riffle has his own deck of cards that he plays with, and you know they all have something different. Polaris has. Oh, she's over there. We're gonna find out here in a minute. And yep. then this is the new map marker so before in the previous two they just had one of those clear beads yeah like you'd see in but now you have your little yeah your this little is your little marker. company token yeah you know, that's cool moving from place to place as you go so that's really neat yeah that is cool the red side's way better than the blue side by the way <laughs> just because red's a better color he likes to play red people <laughs> i don't know what does that mean? Uh, that is Gale's chip, but yeah. then other, other than that, your status dice, your bad guy dice, your initiative dice. Yep. That's cool. 
a lot of beautiful dice. These are awesome. All right, what we got next? Is that all that's in there? No. no. I wonder that bag was that box is so heavy. A bunch of cards. What do these do? Encounter cover card. So is this stuff we need to keep secret? That one's a count. Nope. No, no. Keep this it secret. Keep it you safe. can open. These are actually part. pretty cool. Yeah, all their cards. All their card. Man, that's a, it's a Same. weird. It's they're almost plastic. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're almost plastic. They're really nice though. Cinder. Those are all body batty cards. All of these blue ones are boss batty specific. Rock and roll. Cinder. The heart of Dominus. Dominus. Rock and roll. Ooh, Nexus. Yeah. We will rock you. Oh, hard darkness. I bet you goes with Nexus. And then because we will rock you definitely goes with those guys. Yeah. Domina. And then Dominus Scouts. That's the people you were going over. Oh yeah. Then Four there's a day counter. Place your day chip. So this is if you don't have the battle mat. You just put your chip on there and you just spin it. Oh, okay, cool. And then you have an encounter cover. Yeah, once you create your encounter deck, you throw that on top so that nobody can see what's next. Got it. Piece of cake. Cool beans. All bad guys. All bad dudes. Rock and roll. That'll be my first fight. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this goes in this pack too. I guess it doesn't matter. But... Either way, every one of them has their own, you know, kind of AI to their card, the way that the baddie works. So, Petrified Locks, these are... These are all the encounter cards. This is what you create your encounter deck out of. Wow, there's a lot of them. I would, I would show you that there's, there's just not art. It's just a bunch of words. Yeah. So, yep, yep. just showing you how many of them there are. There's a lot. Hopefully they left out most of the dexterity stuff because that's not my favorite part. Oh really? <laughs> Why? Well, Why? some of them, some of them have dexterity encounters. Like you put a dice on this corner and you stack two dice in this corner, and if you can flick it and knock it down, then you get something. And they call it shooting an arrow into the tree. Ew. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of those. Ones. Not a fan. I usually, I usually skip those ones. So neutral flute. Wow, that's a pretty. I don't know why it has all the numbers on it, but that's awesome looking. These are new trove chests. Trove chests are special equipment that you have to do a little pick locking um, kind of sub game or mini game to okay. unlock and then to get that piece and then of you gear. get something that's cool. And we'll throw that one in there with it since that's one. Okay. And then this is all normal loot, which you'll find or gain during your trip. Just that's the boring side. Is it? Yeah. Dust breaker. They all have different weapon. pictures on them, though. That's not boring. They do have different pictures. That's different chests on them. That's very true. Um, gear lock positioning system, which looks like an exosketch a to me. A pacemaker that looks like kind of half a heart. Yep. See the exos exosketch? What does it call that? Etch-a-sketch. Etch-a-sketch. That's the right word. <laughs> the starter pistol. The batty whistle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. The that's batty whistle. A portable cow. A the mechanical oh, bat. That's cool. This one, I don't know what that is. I'll have to check it out. And that thing's... It might just be a cover. Yeah, it blue. could be. It's really cool. These are cool, man. What their, is it? Their art is awesome. Portable cow. Permanent. It's got keys on it. Add two. Oh, yeah. You spend one bone and get two for free. Wow. That's nice. Portable cow. It is all about bones. Aren't cows portable anyway because they have legs? Well, yeah. Well, you can't carry them. Is that a moniker that of a being definition portable? definition of being portable? You have to be able to carry it somewhere? Yeah. If I a porter you... can't carry it, then... <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you can't hire somebody to carry it for you. So here's just loot cards, normal loot a cards. Bunch of, a bunch of stuff. You can see all of the <clears throat> stuff there as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through See, the very oh, nice. There's a stone helmet. It looks like a football helmet. That's yep. cool. Shiny mirror, pox locks. Wheel wait, pox hmm. lock. Oh, okay. Instead of Pop Rocks. Pop rocks, yes. Wheel heeled boot well heeled boots. Well heeled boots, yes. They're like Heelys. Mm-hmm. Battle, battle yo. yo. Battle yo, yo. <laughs> that's yep. funny. 
That's that's good humor. All good stuff. That's cool. Edible fungus. That doesn't sound good. Here, put those with that. Edible fungus. Oh, put these with that. Yeah. Um, and then these cards specifically are how you add those um, new tyrants into the campaign game. Because yeah. you can play a seven... A seven tyrant campaign, oh, okay. and you can pick any tyrants you want. So, That's cool. then this is just special encounter cards and campaign rewards that match. So, probably not as exciting. Which one next? <laughs> Which one's on top? Polaris. All right, there we go. That goes back in the box, I think. Chips and dice and stuff everywhere. Yes, we do. Right. We'll get it cleaned up. All right. So there's Polaris. Polaris, the geologist. And I just watched a small shout out to Liz Davidson. So oh yeah, she's doing. She's a, she's a good one. She's doing an overview of every gear lock really? for Chip Theory Games, and she does absolutely fantastic job. Yeah, unbelievable. So, so Polaris herself. Ooh, I like the color. Mm -hmm. I think they stopped making gear locks because they started running out of colors. That's my uh, theory. Uh, we don't need to look at her player aid, but... Chip theory. You had a theory about one of Chip theories. <laughs> That's game. right. So oh, these cool. are, for Polaris in particular, she gets these cool little magnetic orbs. These orbs that she gets to control. And... She gets to place them on the battle map. Now, these locations here would correlate with the places on the battle map to show, you know, where she's affecting. And she can affect those areas with damage. She can affect them with health. She can affect them with all kinds of different things. That's she cool. just has to get her magnetic orbs out there, basically. Um, I think she can also do some, some deep diving, trying to get extra stuff um, in one of her one of her sets, and I think it's called the uh, Mineralist. Maybe, yep, Mineralist is her. Yeah. She can do this delve and deep delve to where she can try to get more benefits for the next Got um, it. Combat. For the next, like, okay, combat. Yeah, for the next combat. So, cool very beans. cool, very cool color. Carcass, the survivalist. He's the one I've been waiting for. Oh. Yeah. He is definitely the one I'm really excited about. Why? What, what's so special about Carcass? Well, anybody that can kill baddies and barbecue them up for <laughs> benefits is, uh, if you're if you're hunting baddies and you come with your own cookbook, <laughs> cooking with Carcass, baby. What in the world? Soups and stews. Yep. Snacks and sides, dinners and desserts. Now, here's the thing. Are these real recipes, or are they just in-game? Give them a shot. Half a cup of lentils. Yeah, some green peppers. <laughs> these are real. actual, real... Yeah. You, you could actually yeah, make these. Pop -pop. There you go. That's what we're having for, sun, for Saturday dinner. That's pretty funny. Last battle stew. That's pretty funny. Uh, I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. What's his dinner? We have a... Let's see. Pickled... Pickled Something. eggs. Dinners are suva suva with edible fungus, mm. fungi. Um, troll brew pot roast. I'm in. Yeah, right? Yep. And then lettuce wrapped bog meat. Interesting. One pound of bog meat is the first part. Desserts. Too many scones. Mm. <laughs> it had to be done. Yep. Banana chocolate chip bread. That sounds super good. And then appleberry crumble. Oh, oh, that sounds delicious. See? Man, that is cool. Now I've been waiting. That's why I've been waiting for Carcass. He's got this more... Is there metallic almost to him? Yeah, there's like a metallic green to those almost. Because, but, yeah. He's a hunter, chef, taxidermist, and survivalist. What not, what's not to love? <laughs> and he actually comes with a recipe deck. So that when you kill a baddie, you get to put him on here. And then you get to do, you know, something... And he funny. actually has a recipe deck that goes with it. So that's a really funny that's thing. Part of his play style. I like that very much. That's very cool. The cookbook alone was cool. All right. Next is Static, the Brawler. 
So let's see here. Static the Brawler. I don't know much about Static. I think he, he's an electrified, as far as I know, like a monk. Really? Puncher. Yeah. A like monk a puncher. Melee. <laughs> Look at this color of those dice. It's bright orange. That's really cool. Yeah. And then he's got some kind of static chip. We'll go out on the board. I don't know much about static at all. Yeah, well, I, I'm a game player, not a not a game watcher most of the time. But he is. What his first one is a breathing tutor. <laughs> yeah, see, he's a monk. Inner peace, transcendence, perseverance, breathing tutor, brawler, um, preservationist, and. Whatever that is. Kines what is that last one? Kinesiologist. Kinesiologist. There yep. you go. Kinesiologist, preservationist, brawler, and a breathing tutor. Think? He's a monk. So he teaches people how to breathe. He's an electric monk, that's what we'll call him. That's cool. So. Electric monk. Forty waves of Daylor now. Although we've been really needing new Krell and, and new mechs and they're in here. So New mechs? Wow, look at this case. Yeah, the cases are awesome. Do they sell these too? I don't know if they sell them separate. Why wouldn't? Oh, it twists off. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's so cool. In the in the base game, or not the base game, I shouldn't say that, but in uh, Undertow, you come with a certain amount of Krellin, which are the water baddies, and a certain amount of mechs. Um, which are mechanical baddies that you can't put very many status effects on. Huh. Um, this comes out with more of them. So, okay, um, wow, a mech exterminator. Yeah, um, a it's mechanical a, mosquito. There you yeah, go. A mechanical mosquito. That is nightmare juice. Rust bucket. Yeah. So it's an iron golem or something like that. Maybe treasure disruption. Um, Rust bucket looks pretty uh, sad there. Yeah. So, ugh. <laughs> What's that? Toxoid snail. Secrete too. I hate the word secrete. It's so nasty. A batter reel. Yeah. Uh, snappy. Um, oh, nice. Except for he's hard. Pan Pantera fish. Oh, panther fish. I thought it was a Pantera, Pantera fish. I was like, Wait, yeah. Like, Panther fish, but their art is so cool. Like putting all that much art on one little tiny chip. Yep. Ridiculous. It is crabby. So that person's crabby. Yep. You can mm -hmm. see all the little fish tokens. Those guys are all crawling. So they'll. Joan the drone. They'll all attack your raft as you're going down the river. Bribable. So smart. Mm -hmm. These are cool. Yep. What you got there? Just more encounter cards. More encounter cards that go with the water. Uh, looks like we have a couple new encounter cards for Colossum and the Goblin Queen that'll add into their decks, but or add into theirs. But these are just more encounter cards. Yeah. For the water areas. So a whole bunch of them though. Yeah. Boom. Whole bunch of them. Not a bad expansion. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> these chips. Got it. Look what at those next? big beautiful chips. Rage of Tyranny. Rage of Tyranny. And this is what's cool. Look at that. That is super cool. And it just closes right back up. Gorgeous. That's way cool. Raise the tyranny. You can't have enough tyrants. That's for sure. Look, there's another one for you. Ooh. That's not a pleasant looking gentleman right there. Mm, no. Oh, oh, she's cool. Just coming out. Nightshade. No, man down. Oh, well, see, so that's a new guy for to help Gendry. It looks like, yeah, Gendrix. Sorry. Yeah. So it looks like they got some new. Why is it? Why does the Goblin Queen look like that on one side, but that on the other side? So this is the Goblin King. Uh huh. So I'm assuming. And I don't know for sure, but it looks like these are new baddies 
that will go into their body pile. When you're fighting the Goblin King, you're going to add this in as one of the possible enemies. Got it. Same thing with Kendrix. So all of these are existing. Yeah. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but all of these are existing baddies that they're adding more to. It's a dragon broodling. That's what this is, but he's a Yeah, I can't remember the big guy's name. Sure. Cool. And then these are cards. I I believe, if I remember correctly, this is all new ways to play the original tyrants. Oh, okay. Kind of refreshing or updating yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the original tyrants. Good idea. Yeah. More dice? More dice. Those are tyrant dice, so they each get their own special dice with their own special abilities. Yeah. Looks like we got some more day one encounters. I don't know where we're at there. No, you're good. Yep. We got some more day one encounters. Uh, got some more loot. Yeah, That's Wrath good. of Barnacle. So Barnacle is one of the old bosses. So now this has got to be a new way to do it. Wow. In. Oh, yeah. oh no! Furious Colossum. Yep. This is kind of refreshing. We're making a harder version of a lot of the original ones, it looks like. Alright, now we've got the 40 Caves of Daylor. So we go to get the expansion for the game before you played the game. That way, we have it all at once. Yep. 40 Caves. 40 Caves. More Lava Beasts, I'm sure. Last one. Oh! Oh, it's, it's like a lava hand. Mm -hmm. That's, That's super cool. cool. Yeah, pretty excited when I saw this was the coming today. Troll Quarrymen, Reach and Confuse. That's what's on top. And I basically told Sam, if you want to unbox it, we have to do it today. Otherwise, it will be open and played tomorrow. Yeah, so. it just came in today. So <laughs> he was like, you'll, nope, you'll can't get wait. One chance. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see more 40 caves, counter cards. Now technically you could mix all of the encounter cards from all three of them together, but you'd have to have all three battle maps. So I, wow. I tend to keep the other two, I could keep the three sets of encounter cards separate. Yeah. Although I mix all the baddies together. Yeah, why not? All the baddies are in Kind of makes together. the, uh, when makes, you're, makes you're the pool of what you get on completely yeah. different. Yeah. And then a bunch more nice encounters. Yeah. That's really cool. To go into those encounter decks. So really neat. Just the amount of poker chips. I am super enamored with these things. I don't know why, but these little token holders are super awesome. They're all going to go in that bottom shelf. Because all of them end up in one of these in the trove chest. Really? Yeah. Aww. Trove chest, they're all organized by... You gotta find something else to do with this. Like pipe and color. I don't know what that would be. No, I'm not getting rid of them. Well, yeah. Well, it's definitely... No, you're gonna keep yeah, them on your phone. Yeah. Well, that's, that's cool. That's it. That's all of it. That is cool. Like, it wasn't a lot. So, that has been... Too Many Bones Unbreakable. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take it easy. Take care.